Look where we are, my love. All of this and all of them are here to celebrate our wedding. Us, finally, at long last, the day we have waited so long for is here. Joseph, when I met you at the experienced, wise, all-knowing age of seven, I knew I loved you. I can say today, over two decades after I first met you, with a full heart, a clear mind, and complete certainty, I am irreversibly and irrevocably in love with you, real love. The kind that hurts more than words can describe when we are apart, the kind that brings instant joy when I see you after a long day. In what world or universe, under the view of what God or force that rules it, do I deserve the love of one such as you? You, wonderful you, have chosen me since we were children. In all this world, you have seen me and loved exactly as I am. I too see nothing and no one but you. It has been thus since that night at the lake, and it will be so until the final peace and the final light of me blinks out and fades to oblivion. I promise to love you more today than yesterday and every day more than the last. I promise to always see you and treat you as my equal, never more, never less. I promise to always make you feel like the sexiest man alive. I promise to one day be the best mother to our children. I will never stop loving you. The stars may fade, the seas may evaporate, or the bonds of matter may break. My love for you is eternal and unstoppable. I will always stand by you, no matter what may come. I will always and forever dance in the rain with you. I will be yours and only yours, forever and always. Joseph, I choose you. I choose you today, tomorrow. I choose you for the rest of my days. I love you so much. I always have, I always will until forever. At last, and despite it all, we made it. Our love story is real. Eternally yours, Joseph, that bowl cup wearing boy that fell for you so long ago. See you soon. Shortly you shall say a few words that will take you across the threshold of life and things between you will never quite be the same. For after today, you will say, this is my husband, and this is my wife. I, Joseph Tyler Guerrero, take you, Cecile Aline Paris, to be my wife. I, Cecile Aline Paris, take you, Joseph Tyler Guerrero, to be my husband. I give you my hand and my heart. I will love you, cherish you, and respect you. I will be by your side in sickness and in health. Through successes and failures, I will be constant in my love for you. From this day forward, you will not walk alone. My heart will be your shelter, and my arms will be your home. By the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and we would all love to witness your first married kiss. May I present Mr. and Mrs. Guerrero. Today I had the honor of a lifetime standing by your side as you proclaimed your love and made a lifetime commitment to the man that you've chosen to love for all eternity at your dream wedding nonetheless. I approve, by the way. Joseph, <laughs> thank you for making my best friend the happiest woman on this earth. I love how you treat her like the queen that she truly is. You have completed her and the love that you have for her is pure and honest. And for that I can't thank you enough. And Cecile throughout it all. 
for the entirety of your relationship, I knew through those conversations that you're his person. That throughout it all, you're gonna be with him till he till he's in the ground. There's no other choice but you. And I wanna give them the best sound off and you better chug those drinks because we're gonna give you a standing ovation. Round of applause to the Guerreros. So, don't forget, Joseph and Cecile, love is a decision. So, best wishes, Cecile and Joseph, on this wonderful journey as you build your new lives together.